there's the laundry house. There's the camper. There's the Mustang. I'm still investigating. I'm investigating the crime scenes. I'm the greatest basketball player in the world. Well, as you might know, the NBA season has already started. And I've been training all summer long to play in the league. But guess who hasn't gotten one phone call from any of the 30 teams in the league? Take a stab. I'll just tell you. Me, the Z-Man. Yeah, passed over. Black bald. Or as I like to call it, racism. Racism against a 5'9 white guy. That's what's going on here. And I'm telling you what, Adam Silver, I am ready to boycott the NBA because of it. The Z-Man, the Mud Shark, Cleveland's hometown hero. Chad Zumok is all these things and much more. Last, we left off on Chad after hearing about his foibles. Driving drunk and totaling a car, something I myself have never done. Stealing credit cards from the vulnerable during the pandemic. Begging for applause at his stand-up shows. And a bunch of other things I can't remember at this point. But the rabbit hole goes deeper with this virile young man. More crimes will be uncovered in this part two. One thing Chad Anthony Zumach never did was talk about my kids. Entire shows have been dedicated to the Z-Man. One day he might even eclipse my own fame as a celebrity. When it comes to Kate Meany, she admits I'm a wordsmith compared to Chad. Let's get you started with Mr. Zumach reminiscing about his high school days and the last time everything went right for Chad. All right, this is pretty embarrassing. I was cleaning out my mom's basement and I came across some VHS tapes and I found some old footage from my senior year at prom. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post it after this and just, just watch. And I wanna get hashtag old prom photos going for Instagram. And this is not just a photo, it's a full video. <laughs> I hope you, I hope you. I'm right outside the Karate Kid Apartments right here, South Seas. It was my favorite movie growing up because I could identify with that movie. You know, single parent mom raising her child, new school district, getting beat up by bullies in high school, learning karate from his Asian landlord, beating up the bad guys and getting the girl in the end. I could identify with that movie growing up, except I never learned karate. So basically I got my ass all throughout high school and I never got the girl in the end and my mom was f***ing the landlord. You went to your high school reunion? Oh. I went to my high school reunion, had my 20-year high school reunion. How'd that go? Uh, have you been to yours? Yep. Uh, not yeah. really. I did not make it to mine. You didn't make it no. to yours. I, it's like having sex for the first time. It's weird. It's awkward. No one knows what to do when it costs $50. <laughs> 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see? Did you have a high school girlfriend? I had a high school. That's why you go to to just size everybody up. Say, hey, what are you doing now? Where are you at? See, because you have to be right with your life. And I left my high school reunion. I swear to God, I, everyone thought I was a Ferris wheel operator after I left. <laughs> I convinced everyone that I was working in a circus. Really? <laughs> now they're probably going to send you cards because the circus is closing and they're worried about you. I heard about mm -hmm. that. Is that true? Yeah. Yes. Barnum and Bailey, they're folding yeah. it up in a May. couple of months. Oh, my goodness. So yeah. There, there goes that dream for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, carnivals, plenty of carnivals. No, still Chad carn Zimbach, former comedian now. <laughs> Carney. Uh, yeah, Chad, when are you going to settle down? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to settle down, man. I'm down here. Is your place big enough for a family? Yeah, there's an extra room over there for a kid. Chad, seriously, why don't you think about taking in some hot refugees like Smoothie would have done? <laughs> <laughs> Smoothie. Yeah, I'm open to refugees. I would, like a, I would like a woman of color in my life. Yeah, okay. Before we get started, let's get something out of the way right off the bat. Let's start off fresh, clean slate. You might be looking at me right now and saying, okay, all right. So that's what 185 pounds of failure looks like. All right. Well, guess what? Newsflash, this just in. I weigh 180, bitches. Facial, facial, get some. That's right. I said facial. It's hip. It's trendy. It's making a retro comeback. You heard it here first. All right. 185 pounds of failure, more like 180 pounds of trend center. Yeah, you might want to pay attention, because I'm the very first guy to quit wearing the Van Dutch hat. My decision. Yeah, 
I was like, screw this overpriced lid. It's over. It's over. You ever walk into a bar and hear the song Sweet Caroline being played on the jukebox? Yeah? Well, I'm the very first guy to do that and have the entire bar sing the chorus. Yeah. Sweet Caroline. I wrote that. I wrote bum bum bum. I sat in my room one day. I was like, hmm, what can I have a room full of drunk toolboxes sing at the top of their lungs that would also compliment Sweet Caroline? I got it. Bom, bom, bom. You're welcome. Yeah. You might want to pay attention. I'm an important man. I made $18,000 last year. How much you make? That's how I roll, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Not that I need to prove how important I am, but I'll go ahead and do so anyway. Razor phone. That's right. Back up. First dude to ever have the razor phone. We buy the razor phone so we can look cool, right? That's the only reason to get them. You would think, you would think you look cool until you pull up to a car full of hot blondes while talking on it at a stoplight and you're driving a Dodge Neon. It's not funny. Not funny. Girls drive away, you're like, where are you going? Thanks a lot, Neon. Where were you, Razor Phone? Does nothing for you. And I drive a Dodge Neon, I do. Great car. Great car. If you're a 16-year-old mother, or a grown man trying to remain celibate, then that's the car for you. But if you're trying to rock out, look cool, and get laid, the Neon's not where it's at. You could have Jessica Simpson riding shotgun going down on you, and the only thing people would say is, <laughs> look at that grown man, he's driving a Dodge Neon. He must be 185 pounds of failure, call back. Call back, you gotta stay with me, I run fast. I like Ray's in his king chair. Ray bought a big chair that looks make him look like a king. That's my dad's chair. My dad's dead. I, Are you uh, a, God, you're a Cleveland sorry. king. You're the Cleveland king. Cleveland yeah, king I'll take Tommy. It. Funny stop. Here we come. Funny stop. <laughs> I sell tickets at the funny stop. I sold out the funny uh, stop. First of all, that, oh, God, I can't even. Oh, my I, Lord. I think I covered everything. The point is, point is he's got a lot of open weeks. So I do I. Director. I stand corrected. Yeah, but nobody's selling. Nobody's saying you're selling tickets, Chad. A table of nine that just got kicked out of here. If we did not get kicked out, you left because you're fucking great. Uh, these guys got kicked out, and they're like, no, no, we're just leaving. <laughs> we're not, we didn't get kicked out. We just wanted to go. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you were saying, Nasty Al, that about half the people at the show, there was a lot of people there, 180, 200 people, uh, half the people left. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, within the first few minutes, I, I, definitely when the, the when the the c word and you know when he called them bitches, that place emptied out so quick. All right. Now, so, Al, do you feel? I forgot to ask you this last night. I thought of it after, but do you feel yeah. if there was a third comic on the bill that possibly some of those people would have stuck around, or would he have, would he have I, driven I, even I, them? <laughs> Away. Boy, I'd have felt bad for a third comic that night because he would have just walked up to a, a nuclear bomb. I mean, there was no cleaning up or fixing the situation. People were pissed. So within the first few minutes, he turned the gun on the audience and they just started leaving. That's what, yes, that's... absolutely. Within okay. within the first three minutes, he had honed in on this table full of uh, you know pretty girls and those military guys, and <laughs> he just started. You know, I sent you see all the tapes, and I sent you some to Carl. That uh, you know, he just attacked him, and hmm. that was it. Uh, but, but just as we're wrapping up, you met you mentioned his name there earlier. Uh, lovely Kevin Brennan, Stone Cold Kevin Brennan. Uh, I, I, I just like how you just. You ease into it like foreplay. You ask, you know, a couple softballs and you move into the, you know, the Schumer, the Kumi, and now to the the main part. The yeah, fucking, so I, I spoke the about the clip. Yeah. The clip that's going on YouTube. Yeah. The clip. Yeah, the the, the dick and now the arsehole. Uh, but I got to talk about it uh, with Brandon. I just did an interview with uh, uh, Bob Levy yesterday and we spoke about the fact Bob that Levy did a podcast. What? <laughs> How did you get him? Well, you know, let's just say I know Opie. <laughs> but oh, uh, we we were talking about the fact that when you and Kevin did Misery Loves Company, that run was 
in my opinion and a lot of people's opinions, that was the funniest fucking podcast going for a long, long time. And then, of course, and on Zoom, which was very hard to do with Kevin. That's the thing that's that made it even more fucked up. And you, you just made it work. Uh, of course, she's had that on her confrontation slash conversation on uh, uh, on the Anthony Kumi show. Uh, what what's the the state of the the feud with Kevin Brandon? Is it coming to an end? Are you just getting along, or is it uh, still uh, very edgy? I haven't spoken to him since I left the podcast. I haven't said we haven't spoken, so I don't know. Um, I think he was just running out of content, so he tried to make me into the next thing, the next Lenny and the next Brian. So you don't look like you do. You look like the guy who's like. I mean, on a on a cruise, the guy who goes on a cruise looks can be deceiving. There's a sad clown behind these glasses. <laughs> I'm only laughing because it's true. <laughs> and also, uh, also, uh, Chad has a Chad. I just realized you're basically alone in the world. So so uh, people uh, I think you you have a legit reason to be sad. But uh, yeah, you know, mom's maybe, dad didn't know my dad. Yeah. You have no family. You have like one aunt in Ohio or something. My mom just died three months ago. So yeah, I'm, but, I'm yeah, but people die. But I'm saying, I'm yeah. saying, I'm saying. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're out of toilet paper, out of paper towels. The world's, it's ending. It is ending right now. And the only thing you can do right now is go stream my album on Spotify, make a Pandora station with my album, download it on iTunes. And after that, go subscribe to my podcast, Sit Down Zumok. It's the only thing we can do. I love you. How many cigarettes is that, Ben Bob? Uh, like fucking five. What are you, my doctor? You little fat fuck. You worry about yourself, okay? You're gonna be dead. You're gonna be dead with. Yeah, five you're years. gonna be dead. You're gonna be dead because nobody fucking likes you. Because you're just a fucking loser. You're yeah, a piece of shit. Yeah, that's why I was at a, you were uh, streaming yesterday, sending me the link. Where's Chad? I was doing shit. I have friends. You have nothing. You have no fucking you have friend. Nothing. A fucking landlord is not a fucking friend, okay? <laughs> You didn't even fucking put money He's down to get there. Kevin got He's you into that fucking, fucking slum. Look at that beat. fucking slum. You're a fucking loser. You see that Barry Rim fucking laying you're back there. You're almost 61. You're almost dead. Yeah, I'm almost dead. You're going to be fucking I'm, bitch. I, I can't threaten him because, uh, oh, fuck, he's going to call. Yeah, him. yeah. Him Strike John. the channel. John's coming well, Kevin, to my house finally now. Realize that you're full of shit. You, he doesn't need you. He doesn't, doesn't need you on the show. Kevin. Oh, Kevin, Kevin loves me. He doesn't like John you. John clowned you. John, John clowned, clowned you. you. No, you and him are two oh, yeah? fucking clowns. Two I made a shitload of money, Bob. I made no a shitload of money. We do the same fucking show Nothing every fucking day. Ever. Yeah, Fuck we do you. the same show. It's called Fuck Killing You, you Motherfucker. Way. You fucking go in there. You haven't and you done nothing since the Stern show. Name your TV on your credits. Fucking God. Ray oh, give me more. Ray has more TV credits than you do. I Ray does a monthly show at the stand. Blind, you do VFW all. Man that lives in a fucking apartment. You're sucking up the Artie Lang part. 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 You get your wagon to everybody that can help body. you. You Look can't do it on your own. Like you get like seven people middles. go up against me. Seven. You got the same spot on. Two Cleveland middles. Two Cleveland middles. Two Cleveland middles. You're a fucking opener. How many improvs and funny bones do you do? How many improvs and funny bones do you do? No, you do shit gigs. You do shit gigs. I'll do whatever. You should have been rough in this business. I can go into a serious XM building. I can go around Bennington anytime I want. I can go to Jim and Sam. You can't yeah, go with your the fucking building. fat stick you can't walking do around shit. filming Besides everything. Look Kevin's at me. I'm the tubby shit. Fuck. I'm the tubby piece shit. Of shit. I'm walking around. At least around. I can pick a lot of houses, houses and families. families. I wish I I'll did. I'll fuck oh, you up in Atlantic City. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to fuck you up in Atlantic City. You saw what fucking Danny fuck Bonnie Gucci did at five foot five, fifteen years ago, when you were actually in better shape. I can't breathe. You fucking go smoke breathe. another I cigarette. Drink. Drink. Go smoke another cigarette. Loser. Go buy a, a carton of cigarettes. And you're you crazy are fucking. Comedy, you're a fucking piece of shit. Is steak, you're garbage. That's a fucking fact. <laughs> you're you are garbage. Steak okay, let's talk about Ray Stakes for the fifteenth time today already. Jesus Christ, you got nothing. You don't leave the house. You got nothing. You got no stories. Nothing. At least Ray brings something. At least he has more credits than you. Five dollars a fucking. That's only fucking. You're not even the business. You're only business. Come to clubs. Chad, 
Jack, you're not you past the comedy clubs in New York City. City. You're, you're not past that shit. Fucking good state, you want to go in there. Fuck. That's why Jim, Look at you. Jim North and Jim Florentine passed you by because they took a chance. Jim North and Jim Florentine passed you by because you want to take a chance and go in the city to audition. That's why they have TV credits. That's why their career went far and yours didn't. You know how you got your money? A fucking car wreck, you fat fuck. You get arrested. old fuck. You got money from a car wreck and you live off a nurse. Look at if me. it wasn't for Gia's salary, oh no, let's get off. You can't go, uh, go on Shuli. Oh, Shuli supports oh, you, oh, and so does Kevin. Rub the chin. Yeah, Shut fuck up, you. Fucking Ray. Fuck off, right. you piece of shit. Uh, Kevin, you hopefully off. you'll wake up one day. Uh, wake up one day. Like, why am I sending this guy money? Why am I sending this guy money? What am I doing? I can put anybody there. You can put a fucking stick figure there. You don't need Bob. You just, I'm high. I'm high. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, look you at know me. what I mean? Oh, I got a punch in the eye. Call me the country. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. Look, I got a head for oh, oil oh, mustache. Go fuck you. Go, you eat in a cock, you fucking fat <laughs> fucking loser. What a piece of shit. It's unbelievable. Fuck him. I, I, I hope he fucking dies next. I, I'll go to his fucking funeral. I'll be the only one there at his fucking funeral. We'll bury him. We'll get fucking, I'll get my diggers to come and fucking bury you, you tub of shit. I need like eight of them. Holy fucking shit. The guy hasn't been funny ever in his fucking life. Oh, God. Go join your hero, Roddy Piper. Hit it. I'm not even playing right now. Oh, fuck. Fuck yeah, man. I told you I'm not even playing. <laughs> Damn it. This shit's getting serious, man. Well, what do you think? So who who would maybe be like your three biggest adversaries right now? Because, I mean, I, I've seen like the Ski and Tukey, or not Ski, uh, the Potato and Tukey. They, they, their whole shows revolve around you, you know? So dumb. Like, I, I know, but like, <laughs> if, you, if you ever see them, like, they're always talking about you and they're. I know. I see clips. I'm like, all right. So whatever. they need, they need you more than you need them, obviously. Yeah. You're their, uh, focus of of a lot of content so who who would be like the three people who you're kind of like hey man like my adversaries yeah like i, I don't know like you're not enemy my allies i think you're opposite of your allies that's what that number means. one chow number two <laughs> mirror really no. hey he's not even mirror on, <laughs> number nah, three we're, we're allies or Number allies. three, David Chandler. That's all I have in my life right well, now. Those are, those are your three allies. So what? I'm talking about the opposite. What are the three you got? Yeah. I don't want there to be any breakage. Chad, Chad seems like he's in pain. Chad's holding up very well. I thought that this was going to be Jessica uh, Evil Eye. She's, she's leaning into it. Chad is wincing in pain. I've never seen anything. Uh, it's close. It's, it's so close. close. Oh. And she wins. Evil Eye. Oh. Right here. There you go. Right here. A lapse. You ready? Guaranteed strike. Awesome. <laughs> like Chad and I have been going back and forth now on, on Twitter. And then he's been mentioning obviously you guys and all of us in our shows, yeah. what guys like Chad don't get because they're just really full of anger and everything else is like, yeah. dude, we're not doing this to like wreck your career, or bring you down. We're literally fucking around because it makes us laugh. This is and because Chad I'm sucks. Fine. But what? mostly because Chad fucking sucks. Yeah. Chad is, oh Chad is a garbage human. He's not funny. He is, he is a bad fucking person. He's a bad person. He's a yeah. shit person. Like, I, know, that, I know we were talking about busting balls. We're all friends here. But Chad does not enter into this equation. He's a but, but that's but yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. No, what I'm saying is when he says that about us, like, oh, Carl just makes his career on this. And Aaron yeah. just does a show on me. And Gino's this and that. The reason he's not kind of in that group, so to speak, is because he takes all of it seriously. Yeah. Meanwhile... We're moving on to our next segment, our next right. show, our next week. And Looking it's like, forward. and if Chad acts up, we'll fuck around with him a, a, again. But like, he's, right. and, and I don't know if it's just being 50 and nothing is stuck or what it is, but there's yeah. just no, for a guy who claims to be a professional comic, there's just zero sense of humor there. Or self-awareness. Yeah. <laughs> That's why he's fun to talk but about. I hear he's got a hell of a varsity jacket collection. <laughs> oh, and you said it perfectly, April. And the self-awareness, if you at least can make fun of yourself, which we kind exactly. of do all the time. It's like, then if, if like, I think a lot of people get into this shit because you don't take yourself seriously. 
you yeah, know the, the stuttering johns of the world and the chad zumox if they all would just lean into the person that they are yeah. and have fun with it we'd all have so much more did fun. you you must have no. seen cost carl a job <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> that would suck for me <laughs> that would suck i need i need opie john and chad to be oh. completely unaware of what That's they're doing yeah this is what we do this is what you get this is what we do in cleveland we burn jerseys even if we wanted you traded, you got traded, and you wanted to be traded, we still burn your jersey. You don't leave Cleveland. Pick this up, Sports Center. You fucking Let me chat. X out of this. And no. And then you have those two fucking guys call in who I've never said anything racist about. I defy you to fucking find one clip of me saying anything bad about Godfrey other than a joke I'd make about anyone else. Shut the fuck up. And Dante I've known for 20 whoa, years. Whoa, and whoa, never whoa, 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 Shut whoa. the fuck up. That's not happening. Not on my show, dude. Bye. You're not going to tell me shut the fuck up on my show, dude. You're not telling me shut the fuck up on my own show. Fuck you. All right, let's see what he... All right, let's bring him on one more time. Don't tell me to Ch shut the fuck Ch up on my own show. Chad, then I'll tell you what. Talk, to Chad, talk all you want. You tell me, shut the you fuck bring... up on my show. You, you, because that, 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 you that, suck at what you do. Tell me what I love. Now about. I suck at what I do. Yeah, because you're supposed to call out liars, and you said I lied, and I never did. Now tell me something I lied about, or I say I'm sorry because I never did lie, and then we'll attack what's going on to your fucking left. But you can't Gino, have any credibility until Johnny, you admit I never lied. This isn't in hot water. Talk. This is not in hot water. Have a conversation like an adult. Nope. Tell me what you're I not. Lied you're about. not going to scream at me on my podcast. It's not I'm happening. Changing the subject. Tell me what I lied about. Don't be a little bitch and go. I got. Oh, you I, I can't. I can't do it. This guy's fucking. I, they, they, they're all insane. You guys are all insane. Talk normally. Chad. Don't ever fucking do that. Tell me what I lied about. Don't change the subject like a little see you bitch. Talk Tell me normally. What I, lied about. I, can, I can't. I'm Sad. not going to be. You're not going to scream over me on my podcast. Said, this isn't hot uh, water. This is not in hot feelings. water. No, th no, this is a shitty show. Fucking. I didn't. You told me it was great. Feelings. And this. How can we say I was doing great? I was doing great because job. Let's a read. Good host doesn't change the subject. You don't be like, don't yell. Watch this. I'll no, you don't come in and that. lead the interview or the conversation. It's my show. Tell I can do whatever I the hell I want. Okay, What's ask that? me a question. Ask me a question. I don't, Gino, I didn't even think about your lying or anything. Because now, I let's, didn't Chad, I, ask me stuff I don't, you lied about. And I'll go, ask me stuff you lied about. I'll go I don't care. I don't care if, you, if I lied. I don't you care. You lied about being heard about your mother. That was a running gag on the show. Wait, wait, Stop lying. Answer wait, 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 Gino, wait, wait. Max Barnes. No, you listen. went to Super Chats to say... What? I lied about my mother? You lied about being hurt about your mother. It was a running gag. Don't play the victim. You're not a victim, Chad. You were on that you show. Don't think, wait, no, you, don't, you don't think I'm hurt when he was saying that awful shit about my mom? Who you died of fuck. You would have quit sooner if you were hurt. And, and I'm sorry. No, I we all have dead parents, and you're changing the subject. Just you need to say, and, and watch this. I'll leave. Either say you never lied, or I still can't think of it when you've had a week. You know, I'm not like you. you. Lied, you're I, not like me, thank Christ. I'm in shape. You fucking lie about fucking working out. I'm in shape. I worked out. I threw my back out. James Banks not making sense. Uh, here's the sense. Tell me what I lied about, which is nothing, and then we'll. I don't the care. Fact. I don't care what you lied about or what you didn't lie about. I, I'm not obsessed with winning and lying and all that bullshit. I A lot of you know it's May Fourth. You know what that means? Star Wars Day. So I want to wish Mr. Jim Florentine a happy May Fourth. Jim, may the fourth be with you. Everyone was getting along. Stuttering John. Oh, John's yelling out, school, during the sets. It was pretty funny. It was just, it was a good memory, and it was great. From dinner to the show, I had a blast. We show up to the Brigada like around 1130 or so, and we go to the, we go to our rooms and drop off stuff, and everyone's, uh, you know, beloved chatter and everybody said we're going to meet in the center bar we're like where's everybody at they're like oh over in the corner uh, is john and kevin and um i was like cool and t.o hank 
So we come over, and I haven't seen Kevin Brennan in, what, three and a half years? So Tony goes up, shakes Kevin's hand, you know, shakes everybody's hand. I go up to Kevin. And I go, hey, what's up, man? And I put out my hand, and he just looks at it. And he just he has no intentions on shaking my hand, so I put my hand down. He's like, what are you doing here? I'm like, come on, dude. You know why I'm here. He's like, how'd your show go? And I go, it was a shit show, but it was fun. And then the two guys that were at the show, they're like, oh, we had a blast. It was fine. Plus, he's Chad. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's living in his own fairy tale down in Tampa. Oh, Chad's here? Yeah, but I don't want to bring him on if you don't oh, want Oh, bring on. it on. Bring him on. Hey, Chad. What's Chad? going on? Chad, what? please don't troll me. <laughs> Kate, Kate, why are you lying about me? Wait, I'm not... Why would you unfollow me? Because I told you it's not cool. Why would you talk shit about me on MLC? I never said anything bad about you on MLC. You said that I like attention. Is that bad? You said it in a negative tone of voice. Yeah, you're doing it today on John's show. You're trying to get attention to yourself in a, the situation. Well, wait, 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 Chad. I asked. I, she, I mean, we've been talking purely platonically having a lot of laughs and then she said hey do you want me to come on today so but but we've talked for how long now kate this has been going on for a while right i mean it's been going on for a while yeah but obviously she tells me about trevor it's not anything nefarious i mean she tells me she's going out on a date with trevor it's something i'm not hitting on her chad but apparently you wanted to hit on her on monday night correct no we were fine. Like, and you said you showed up with Kate. Okay, you came by yourself, and we just Jim Stansel and those guys were already there. So you act like you you out you brought all these people because you were scared of me. No, I You're, wasn't scared of you. But you said that. Like I like I never I, I was never but say that nothing but nice to you. Like I, dude, you would call me like eight times, eighteen times a day. Like I know until you blocked me. I never blocked you. I just unfollowed you on Twitter. Hold on, I'm getting a little jealous. Shit, Kate, okay, who was better on the phone, me or Chad? John. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to make sure. Oh, and so when you were saying I was your best friend, that was all bullshit. Look at look at me in the middle right here. <laughs> John, she would say I was her best friend. You told Chad that you were that he was your best friend? I never said that. Multiple lies. John, she's lying. She's lying multiple okay. times. This she knows like she's lying. Court. Okay, Kate. Swear on your mother's life that you didn't say that Chad was your best friend. Yeah, your mother's I life. I won't swear on my mother's life. I'll swear on my father's, though. See? Because he's already dead. <laughs> <laughs> There's that laugh again. Gets me every time. Stop laughing. <laughs> Chad, what was your issue with me when we hung out? You wanted what? to go to a strip club, and I was like, I got to go to the airport at 6 a.m. And she was looking for cocaine. I'm like, that's no, not I my thing. No, I wasn't, Chad. Yeah, you come did. on. You lying? No, I wasn't. I wasn't. Like, You're lying. Bring on You're just trying. Bring on no, Stancil. we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. Well, okay, well, you're that's lying. unnecessary. You're lying. I'm telling the truth. And you're you know that. literally I... just trying to paint me in a negative light. No, no. Yes, you are. No, now you're upset because I told something that wasn't supposed to be told. Well, then why did you say it, Chad? I mean, she then why? Was... Why would you say that? Because you were I'm, looking for coke. You asked Stancil, can, can, can you get some cocaine? Have you ever done First cocaine, all, Jed? No. You've never done coke? No. I've never smoked weed. Cool. He's a virgin, John. He's a virgin. And... <laughs> Are you a virgin, Chad? No. You have to <laughs> open your mouth and paint me out to be a slut. I thought I never said that. Yeah, but the things that you said... That's how you're thinking in your was, head. Yeah, Kate's like, not a slut. I'm a slut, but Kate is not a yeah. slut. Chad, Chad has no opportunities to be a slut. Oh, okay. Yeah, Kate. Hey, Coop Brennan, my hubby's terrified of you. Leave me. Don't hurt him. I, John, I appreciate you having me, but I can't... Kate, Kate's just... She's full of shit. I gotta go. Oh, come what? on. Come Damn. on, Chad. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. My, oh, my. Wow, Mr. Sensitivity. Hey. Uh, let's see. Oh, did you bring guys? And did you not bring guys? He claims you didn't bring guys. No, there were two guys down at the stand that went out with us. Oh, but you didn't bring them. Well, yeah. Well, I was like, come with us. 
come with us. Oh, I see. So I said, went, like, why don't you come with us? So you went alone and then you met yeah. them. And then yeah, you said, but, don't leave me alone with this guy. <laughs> yeah, I was like, because I was going to go home. So. And where did you end up going? We went to a bar. Oh, so check it out. You haven't had pizza until you come to New York City. New York City pizza is where it's at. Okay, Chicago? You got nothing on New York City pizza. Come to New York, grab a slice. You won't regret it. About everybody. Betrayed my trust. April's cooking. <laughs> Sloppy Joe's for supper tonight. Ian. Who says supper anymore? I think I heard her say she's she's cooking Again. supper. That is a that must be like a Midwestern thing, man. That must be like a See, I'm from the, I'm from the Midwest. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio area. Oh. But I don't I don't think we grew up saying supper. We said we said pop when it when we talked about soda, we said pop. Will this be up later? It was never supper. It was Is dinner. Is this a show? I think Jim Norton says supper all the time. He's always like cooking a supper. I mean, this is pathetic. This is. So what's going on, everybody? Let's... This is Chad's show now. What are we doing? He came on and told you about a new time slot. He's going to be trying uh, Sundays now. Forget Saturday nights. Forget Saturday days. Forget Thursdays. Forget Fridays. He's got a new time slot again. You'll only see him today, and then he'll change it all again. Again. Does anybody remember Carl saying that there's nothing interesting about me, so you'll no longer cover me. It's so funny how these people just lie. Isn't Chad, didn't Chad say he doesn't watch Steel, uh, Melton or Steel Toe or Ray? And then he came on again today and goes, guys, for real this time, I'm not going to watch those guys. No, for real, I'm not going to watch Melton anymore. No more clicks. <laughs> and then Chad goes, he said he didn't watch. These guys just lie. It's like Chad. Chad, honey. I think everyone's full of shit. Does anyone ever, like, anything Chad says, I get it. Melton said something. You have to, like, you know, put on your detective hat. Does anyone believe anything Chad says ever? Ever. <laughs> you guys know. We've all seen it. We played it on the last episode. John and Pat. Let him know he's sniping. He's fired up. Let him know he's getting sniped. He'll hate it. I'm so sorry. I'm so dumb. Watch. This will take me. Hi, watch Spencer K. Hi, Mud Shark. I watch. So I won't even pause it this time. Watch. We're doing it. Okay. What's going on, everybody? Saturday edition. Kumi as cucks. See? It's me, the Mud Shark, the Sniper, the Z Man, coming live and direct from Tampa, Florida. How's it going? Oh, How are you feeling? How's your Saturday? Like Bill from Jersey will be your moderator today. So if you guys want to get out of hand, he will go. Hold on. And block your ass. Yep. Let's go on a little more. Rest in peace, Kumia. Hi, Spencer K. Let's see how long Mud Sharks tonight. Is that fair? Hi, AC. S Shop. Yeah. Bill. Detroit by Dark. Welcome. Brutal. Ted E. You Tommy McNulty. James Jesse James. Yeah, we know who's in the chat. They're all here. All the winners are here. Hit that like button. You Let's win. Doing. Let's win. Finally doing a show. We're stuttering. John's not going up no, against no, me. Here. Smash that like button. Like that. Thank smash. God. Kumli will outlive you easily. Wow. Sonic Rats. Mean. Some of you guys were not happy. Rider's here right now. Some of you guys were not happy. Look. With the thumbnail today. That's Okay, this is another thing. One guy was livid. Livid. This is another thing that fucking people do that have no talent. And this is what I've always told you about living in an echo chamber. Right now, Chad put out, this is a, a, a day ago. Chad goes, a day ago. You can even say yesterday. Chad types, rest in peace, Kumya. And in his lonely echo chamber of a mind that we're looking at right here, he's like, everyone's angry. No one's angry. I mean, don't get me wrong. I can't speak for everyone. But people that know Kumi are just like, this This is sad. Friends, Always got to save the day. Friends. Oh, my bandana. You know, I'm playing Sorry. The fucking 
Rocket Mortgage mm. Field Arena. I was getting ready for a photo Hit shoot, like a video shoot, actually. Tuki's doing some Tuki Oki today, and that was my costume for it. Sorry about that, everyone. Very unprofessional. Look at all. I mean, every show, something happens. Yes, every show, something happens. That's what's supposed to happen on shows, Mud Shark. Unlike your show, where nothing ever happens, except for the same shit. Ray sucks. Ray should stop. Chrissy stinks. Chrissy should stop. Chrissy faked pepper spraying herself in the face. I'm that person. A pregnant woman faked pepper spraying herself in the face. A lot of logic in that. Everybody tell your friends, come on over. And Party with Tuki. We're gonna watch some mud sharks. Table, Mike, we Mike, be a sniping. So we hey, hey, hey Pat, you used to be a credible comic, but you stink right now. You're a loser. Chad, you're drunk. Here. Don't what don't Pat Dixon's not the oh, problem. No. <laughs> Did he just drop himself off? Uh, I mean, you took him out of the room and then he disappeared. So, no, I didn't take yeah. him out. Oh, you didn't? Oh, no, he, he did... took himself out. Oh, he did it himself. Oh, he wow. took himself out. <laughs> oh, my God. Chad Zumach. Hey, Chad, how are you? You are Matt Dixon. a friend of uh, a good friend of uh, the full charge. Matt Fultron, the full charge. He has the full charge power hour. Power hour on iTunes. It's a very fun show. He does a good, great job. My name is Chad Zumach. I have a podcast called Sit Down Zumach podcast i'm from ohio he's from ohio shit's happening we are a swing state we make shit happen pat dixon okay all right you 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 heard it here first ohio is a place and uh you know various other things I, I'm, I'm telling you there's a lot of weird shit happening that is unacceptable zumak <laughs> that is so ohio of you what is that? It's it's fucking. This is the best air freshener you can get. Mm. This covers up poo. I thought it was close from. I'm never one to say poo. You know what I mean? I'm not that kind of. A Are you texting at the? Uh, no, I was, I was I'm gonna to... make you leave if you do that. You know, because I noticed that you've been dating her for a while. She's been in a better mood. Uh, Probably. You know, you. Congrats on fucking her, man. Do you have a dick? That, uh, that's a bit of a personal question. It's Pat. very I mean, forward, Pat. It, I like to call you can call it a dick. I like to call it an enlarged clit. <laughs> that ejaculates semen. Yes, occasionally. Yeah, yeah. If you see a it pretty work as well boy. As well the now, are you into but men? I my muscle bass, Pat. Are, are you into dudes? No, I'm not into dudes at all. Jimmy, it's already here. You lost eight hundred dollars bet to pack this and sucks. This is what happened. He never took me up on the bet. He never said, agreed. He said, is that $800 after the YouTube cut? And I said, 800 straight up, and he never agreed to it. And then someone produced the video that I actually was on Pat Dixon's show at Compound Media. And I got to tell you, it's not a good sign when I had zero recollection of the time I was on Pat's show. Zero. I don't remember it at all. But I clearly was. I clearly was on Pat Dixon's show, and I don't remember any of it. Not a moment in my mind. I don't remember the two guys I was on with. I don't remember any of it. I can't even tell you. I looked at it. I go, clearly me. But I don't remember that day. I don't remember being at Compound with me. I don't remember any of it. Now, is this this Chad Zumach guy? I think. I mean, so, well, but let's. I'm not, I'm, I mean, we're Chad talking Zumach? to a thousand people. Yeah. Can somebody just tell us? Because every day I get sent, this guy's been arrested. He's been arrested for this. He's terror. I don't know who that is, so I always go, "Oh, I don't know." Chad can give us the play-by-play. -play. I've, I've already talked about this a million times. Yeah, but not here. But we haven't. Talk, we haven't watched it with with you we haven't broken down the game it's film. like watching this the bruder film with jfk right, right. it's literally six <laughs> years old okay know, but it holds I mean, up yeah it's like breaking bad it holds up it's like the surprise go ahead adam oh, i missed right. that jacket i don't think there's any sound to it but why do i always feel like someone's watching me as uh, Jay Leno said, the uh... well, you popped it in there real quick, and then well, this yeah. was this was I missed New... it. I didn't even see it. It was so fast. this was New Year's Day. I was hammered. <laughs>
I, I just left a party. Okay. And uh, I was hammered. So what drunk, state were you in? Ohio. State mm. of what state of drunkenness were you in? Pretty drunk. Pretty fucking drunk. And then um, but the, the story is like I I paid. How for did it. they not catch? Oh, you? I see. It's in your hand already, and you went. I I went back and paid for it. So it's not like it's. What oh. do you mean you went back and paid for it? I went back and paid for it. Like Wait, after you already got away with it, you went back. Yeah, because I felt bad. So how did you did you you you, you, sh- you went back to the store carrying the bottle and you said, "Can I pay for this?" Yeah, well, I was aware that they I was aware of this video, so I was like, "Oh, I gotta fucking pay him." Wait, you oh, were that's aware why. of the video? So you, so, so you didn't have a moment of like, "I gotta be better with myself." No, because I actually like know the people that own this place. I felt bad. How were you aware of the video? Uh, because how did they brought, make you aware of the video? It was sent to me. Well, by them. Oh, <laughs> they had my. How they, they, they have they, your email? They have my phone number. Well, like, I know he's I friends know with them. They're buddies. <laughs> yeah. So you went back. Yeah. And man. pay. So it's not like you were doing a good deed. You just wanted to go back to the liquor store. No, I just yeah. No, I you just, wanted I, to do. You wanted to go back as a customer. Bad. I, I did feel bad, and I was like, "All right, here." You I felt go. bad because they caught you. Yeah, but I didn't have to pay. Well, how did? Uh, yeah, you would have had to pay if you want to go back as a customer. You would have had to pay. Maintain your friendship. Yeah, I, I did feel bad because I've known I knew him for a long time. And how did this bad. footage get into the hands of like a Patrick Melton or who a, knows? Like, how did this get on the internet? I think I uh, a couple of trolls that uh, that don't like me, they think it's going to like ruin me or something. Yeah, you don't like right, you? Right, right, right. But I'm wait, saying... wait, 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 Adam, Adam, <laughs> you're alleging that there's people out there who don't like you. I I totally, totally stand by it. <laughs> it's a troll patrol. Troll patrol. We, we have, have a title. That's troll a good patrol. Thing. Nice work, Michael. Think about it, Chad, right? The troll patrol Hey, all of us are ready to do us up. Somebody's watching you, the Troll Patrol. My thing is, if the owners were the only people that had it and they liked you, I just don't understand Was Melton also living in Tampa then and he was a customer? No. This this was was in Ohio. Ohio. This was Ohio. Pretty interesting. Six years later. Jack Daniels? I don't. I used to love Jack when I drank. Yeah, it's not good for me. Ah, what happened, Chad? Get caught stealing liquor and catalytic converters in the same day? What a loser you are. Have a look at what I just found. There it is. The creme de la creme. The guy who hosts Kumia's Cucks used to be a Kumia Cuck himself. I would never be caught dead today with the likes of Pocky, much less be that much of an idiot to take a smiling photo with him. Let me read to you what Chad wrote about Anthony Kumia and Compound Media. Anthony and Compound have always been good to me. A lot of comics were scared compound might hurt their careers they only helped make my album number one this year for two weeks straight and have been generous supporters of my patreon thank you anthony for helping out comics when others look for the super popular comics to have on i'll always be loyal to anyone that has helped me and i never turn my back on anyone because they can't help me too many fake people in comedy i'm not built like that 